theoretical treatise on the history of art and creativity. Huh, let me guess, art project time? I thought if I approached it from an analytical point of view, I might be able to come up with a good idea. Maybe you've analyzed it too much. Art is about just letting go, too. Just relax and let it hit you. Ew! Totally gross! Relax, it's perfectly natural. Besides, girls fart just as much as boys do. Ah, uh, not this girl. Ooh! <laughs> What if inspiration doesn't strike? Look at me. I don't have a creative bone in my body. And I've got the x-rays to prove it. Um, Ty. Oh. Whoa. Either we missed breakfast burrito day or... Director, it looks like we're facing an omega-class flatulence epidemic. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> Normal mixture of indole, scatol, methane. Hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and hydrogen. Meh, it's a run of the mill squeaker, all right. We need to split up and find the source of all this farting. Agreed. Let's recon the facility and rendezvous at 1200 hours. Synchronize watches. Uh -huh. I mean, see you at lunch. <laughs> Remember, while on our field trip, you are all representing Ringworm Junior High, so behave yourselves. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is precisely the type of thing I'm talking about. It's got... Oh, I've had just about enough... Oh, right. One more outburst and this trip is cancelled. Mm, that's more like it. Now, let's... Whoa! According to the data I gathered, the flatulence epidemic has spread throughout the school. It's wall-to-wall -wall tooting. Next! Hey, Chef, what's good today? It's looking like... Input order! Uh, hamburger, please. Mac and cheese for me. Uh, could I maybe have a plate? We are closed! Somebody needs a little more customer service training. Hmm. The viscosity of this ketchup is kind of weird. Yeah, like, it's not ketchup weird. Do you think it might have something to do with the epidemic? It's basic math, Ty. Surly chef plus brown goop equals suspicious. I think it might be time for a little snooping. Grossology style? Wow, he read my mind. Quick read. I deserve that. What? This is 
Lab Rat's latest invention. Abby, meet Hermes Mark II. It's so cute. It is not cute. It's a remote control stealth rat. It's still cute. I owe you an oil change, buddy. Whoa! No sign of that weird chef. I'll start here. You look over there. We're looking for anything that might cause flatulence. Aha! Did you find something? What is that? A meatloaf sculpture. I was inspired, so I went with the feeling, like you said. It's a pony. A meat pony. There's a time for art, and there's a time for investigation. Can you guess which one this is? <gasps> Intruders! Whoa! Drop the spatula! Ugh, two can play at that game. You like ketchup so much? Have some. He's a robot? Ty? Did you just explode our only lead? I squirted him with ketchup and he kind of went boom. Hmm. That's because it's not ketchup, it's flatchup. Look at all the ingredients. Bran, broccoli, cauliflower, beans, onions, apples. Eating this stuff would turn anyone into a gas factory. Hmm. This robot could too. Mm. The flatchup must have caused an overload. Yeah. And we'd be tooting too if we'd eaten that stuff. We need to take a flatchup sample back to the gag lab for analysis. I love flatulence. Nature's whoopee cushion. Did you know the average person breaks wind about 15 times per day, making about half a gallon of gas? That's a whole lot of stink, buddy. <laughs> the point, lab rat. What did you find out about the flatchup? Whoever designed this was a Beethoven of bowel music. Taste this stuff, and it's gasorama for days. What? We had to perform a taste test. Right, Hermes? But we don't know why someone would want to start a stink epidemic at our school. Okay, one other weird thing. Anyone eating flatchup ends up with twice as much methane in the gas they produce. Don't know why yet. Methane? Strange. We'll get moving and track down the flatchup. <sighs> hmm, this label has an address. Let's go! The grossologists. Stench itself. It's unbelievable. The entire city. Look! <gasps> the gas epidemic has spread. Everyone in town is gone. Finger pulling mad. In a world of methane gone mad, where stink and moist noises rule the day, there is only one hope. One woman who will stand up to the forces of flatulence and cry. Put a cork in it. Abby Archer, the gagless wonder. Dum dum dum. Uh -huh. What? It's my latest art project. I can make a documentary film and solve this mystery. And blow our cover. Please, I'll conceal our identities. It's all in the editing. I'll handle this. <laughs> Holy cheese cutters. Sweet mother of all stink. All the biggest gas producing foods. Chef bots here to infiltrate every restaurant in town. It's not just the school anymore, Abby. It's the whole city. 
Uh, Ty. That's great. More menacing. Right. A little closer. Great. Now raise your arms a little bit. You're blocking your profile. Yes! Uh, less art, more running for our lives, okay? Fantastic footage! I'm gonna get an A. Huh? Intruders! Not if these robots get us first! The elevator! Intruders! Greetings. I'm impressed you made it this far. But you're too late to stop me. My chefs and delicious Flatcher are already doing their work in the city above. Who are you? And what is this flatulence fascination? I am Bartor. And that is an excellent question, my dear. Shall I tell you a tale? A tale of adolescent olfactory agony? Sure. Why not? I once shared a bedroom with my older brother, Gary. We had our differences, as all brothers do. But Gary had a unique way of torturing me. Fire down below! No! <laughs> oh. Please, Gary! No! <laughs> I was subjected to this torture on a nightly basis for the next 15 years. The years of torment changed me. My lungs adapted to the poisonous emissions of my brother's bowels. Like a fish out of water, clean air is poison to me. I can only survive in an ocean of putrid gas. <sighs> well, issues. You don't know the half of it! Finally, I will have my revenge on Gary. I have built a machine powered completely by farts, and it will be the instrument of my vengeance. Yeah, right. A fart-powered machine? What's next? A car that runs on burps? Actually, the theory is sound. The methane contained in some people's emissions is highly combustible. Well, okay. But we're still gonna shut you down. <laughs> this can't be good. The big red button never is. Behold the vehicle of my vengeance! Behold Foxilla! It's time to give Gary a surprise he'll never forget. <laughs> We've got to stop that robot. Uh, Ty, we got to stop the flash up. Struggling will only make you sink faster. Struggling's all I've got, Ty! <coughs> nice. Ty, this isn't the bathtub. That's it! Abby, eat a mouthful of this stuff. What? Trust me. Ah. <coughs> 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 I'll never 
make fun of your flatulence again. Oh, no! What is it? Is Bartor coming back? Worse. My camera is ruined. There goes another art project. Later, spiel turd. We've got a giant dinosaur-shaped, fart-powered robot to deal with. I can't believe I just said that. Need a lift? Wait a minute. You had a jetpack? A robot! I'm doomed! I... I mean... The city is doomed! Where are Abby and Ty? <laughs> right here, sir! Bartor is trying to get back at his brother for a lifetime of stinkitude! So we have to find Gary before he does! Um, Gary wouldn't happen to work in an office building at Main and Maple, would he? Why do you ask? <sighs> Just a hunch. But, ma'am, this is a limited time offer at. <gasps> Your call is important to us. Please stay on the line and the next available representative will be with you shortly. Ah! Hello, Gary. Larry? Larry? Larry is dead. He died under those blankets, suffocated by your cloying stench. I am far torn. <laughs> it was just a little joke, Larry. You know, a, a gag. Oh, I did gag. And now, it's time for payback. <gasps> My cannon is powered by the emissions of the entire population of the city. You're about to get a bowel blast you'll never forget. Ooh! More gas! Can't you forgive me, Larry? Search your heart! Remember the good times we had! Nice job, Larry! Thanks, Gary. I didn't think I would enjoy camping, but you know. <laughs> oh no, Gary! No! Sorry, Gary. It's go time. This looks bad. Ty, aim for the cannon! You two again? He needs. He's like one giant methane tank. That's it. Hey, big guy, down here. Out of my way, boy, or suffer the smelly consequences. You talk big, but you smell small. You couldn't toot your way out of a paper bag. I've got enough flat up in me to take on three giant scrap heaps. Scrap heap? Okay! No more Mr. Nice Stink! Prepare to be blasted into another dimension! Bring it on! Give me all you got! <gasps> Don't worry, Abby. I had a flash of inspiration. Maximum power! Prepare to feel my stinky wrath! Combustible methane meat jetpack. Jetpack, meet combustible methane. Uh-oh. Run! Quick thinking. Creative, even. It was, wasn't it? You know... I'm cool with giant robots. It's just art projects that freak me out. 
Oh, I'm a scientist. I'm not an artist. Ty, some legendary scientists were also great artists. Yeah? Name one. Oh, I don't know. Leonardo da Vinci. Huh? Check and mate. What are you gonna do with those? Inspiration just hit me. Thanks, Abby. Mmm, mmm, very primitive, very powerful. It's a brilliant rendering of a warthog. Hmm? What's the matter? A warthog? It's supposed to be a self-portrait. You kinda do look a bit like a warthog, but in a good way. Very funny. Oh, I guess I'm no Leonardo da Vinci. Maybe not, but could Leonardo take down a giant farting robot? Hmm, you got a point. But I'll be back, and next time I'll be silent, but deadly. <laughs> <laughs>